fishing line can be used as a viable alternative to a viable alternative to the conventional methods of linear actuation. We intend to prove this by articulating portions of a humanoid robotic head. The motivation for our project was research was robotic research done by Dr. David Hansen and artificial muscle research done by Dr. Ray Bozeman. We are going to replace the servo motors that Dr. Hansen used in his robots with nylon artificial muscles. We are using a silver plating and copper wire, copper winding to introduce a conductive element to nylon to allow for actuation by electrothermal energy. We form our muscles by twisting a nylon fiber and then winding that, winding that fiber around a mantle to create a spring. Or we form a different type of muscle by twisting a nylon fiber and then continue to twist it until it self-coils into a spring. The advantages of using the artificial uh, nylon artificial muscles is that there is, for one, volumetrics, they take up much less space and it will be, eventually, they'll be less expensive to implement than traditional methods of, of actuation. Our control system will consist of a precision current source. We are controlling the current delivered to our system in order to control the temperature of our system. We'll also have a feedback control that We'll also have a feedback control with a temperature system and a temperature shutdown that will prevent uh, excessive heat from melting uh, our muscle or our conductor. One of the challenges of our project is with temperature control. When the muscles are used, uh, heat, will, heat will build up in the, the skull cavity, which will decrease, uh, muscle, decrease the actuation frequency until it eventually stops completely. To address, we are addressing this uh, using conduction by applying a thermal paste to our artificial muscles and with convection by using an air circulation system to force cool air over the nylon. This will increase the operating frequency as well as allow for actuation on demand. Thank you for your time. Are there any questions? We have a little more than two minutes, so let's go Do you see this more of a material science project or electronics? Yes, the first part of manufacturing the muscles was there was definitely a lot of material science involved. But as far as actually getting the muscles to actuate, there will be more uh, like more EE involved in that. Talk a little bit about your design specs. I'm just trying to interpret. temperature sensors to see exactly what temperature is at. 